You're out early. It's nice to be able to get out instead of being held hostage in your own home. A cup of tea? Oh, yes. And, you know, I think I've space for a Danish. I, I wanted to ask after your poor periwinkle. I beg your pardon. Iced or apricot? Whatever comes, sweetheart. Uh, because I do assure you that any shrub damage was not caused by us or ever intended. Oh, really? Because as a matter of principle, you see, you must understand that our action was well, pure political theatre, Mrs Roberts, entirely devoid of personal malice. Are you joking? You invade our garden, shouting slogans, blowing your didgeridoo dar at me, and then you pretend that is not personal assault? Not now, Mother. No, actually, I'd like to hear the justification for this, girl. Well, trees can't protest of their own accord, can they? Have you never heard of letter-writing, Roy, or petitions? I mean, do you have to descend to the level of law-breaking and personal abuse? Well, well, to be effective, sadly, sometimes, yes, we do. Oh. But I would accuse your husband of the greater abuse of power. Oh, would you? Well, at least he was elected to represent the local community. Who gave you people the right to interfere? Well, look, perhaps we must agree a an ideological difference here, but it's no reason to colour our personal relationship. Why don't you try both, Mother? How would you like it, Roy, if a mob of chanting pig lovers came and put pressure on you because you serve bacon breakfasts? No, no I, I think fair point, actually. I, I do seriously have to consider that one. It's very true, I, I do. I think I have glimpsed the wild gleam of the zealot girl. Not practising your blowpipe then, Emily? One acts according to one's conscience. Okay? Oh, does one? Even if it means breaking the laws of trespass? Sometimes one has to refer to a higher law. Oh, and does one ever refer oneself to one's family responsibilities? Like not encouraging that silly nephew of yours and his antisocial antics. Well, I'm sorry if you doubt his commitment. Yes, I do. Do you know, it seems to me he's just a full-time member of that renter mob lot. I'm just amazed at you going along with him. I don't always, actually. I find this direct action approach, personally, very uncomfortable, to be honest with you. Extremely so. Because you know it's basically wrong. Well, no, basically. I think Jeffrey's absolutely right. Oh. If one's fighting a good cause, then one has to put oneself on the line, Audrey. I mean, just as the good Lord himself always did. Oh. I wish you hadn't started on this morning, ma'am. Well, if Alfie hadn't withdrawn charges, I would have been happy for the Lord to deal with it. But he did, so he can't now, and I'm left with a grievance. Yeah, and I'm left with Roy on the subject all day. Well, they won't be crowing over their little victory for long, because those trees will be firewood by next week. What do you mean? I happen to know that the council are going in chip-chop first thing. Do you? And you were told this in confidence, I take it? Yes, but I'm only telling you to reassure you. Mm. Well, I shan't be telling anybody. Least of all, Roy.